Welcome back to Learn with Sam and Ash. In this video, we will talk about the Duolingo English test, which is also called the DET. You must be thinking, what is so special about this video? When I can search on YouTube, the DET and I get plenty of videos to watch. Well, it's unique what we have here for two reasons. Number one, this video contains every detail you need to understand the test. You can see on the screen the eight features that we'll provide in this video, such as do's and don'ts of the test. What are the question types you will get? What is the scoring? Everything. Moreover, we have four more videos coming apart from this. That means an intensive, detailed course to understand DET. Let's start understanding what is the DET. The Duolingo English test, or generally known as the DET, is a proficiency test for non-native English speakers, where everything will be online. This test is created to be conducted online in the environment you choose. This video will be divided in chapters. So if you want, you can click on anywhere under this video. But I would suggest you to keep watching and of course, noting down whatever you want to understand. Now, let's start with chapter one of this video. Chapter one, the features of the test. There are four features in this test. Number one, convenient and accessible. That means you can take the test anywhere in the world on demand in your environment. Number two, fast this test can be taken within one hour and the best part you will get the result in less than two days three trusted the det is trusted by thousands of top universities in the world and of course by students too four accurate remember this test is not checked by humans it's accurate because it is tested and trained by ai as if normal humans are testing and checking your paper I haven't seen any test this advanced and promisingly accurate. Chapter 2. Test Structure When you think about it, other proficiency tests have four skills. I'm not going to name the types of tests that we have, but we have four skills and hence four sections to be tested. Listening, reading, writing and speaking. The DET made it simpler. Just one section. What does it mean? It means that you will have questions coming randomly of various skills. Does it mean also that you cannot prepare for that easily? You can using two ways. Number one, you can use the official website of the DET which will be available two places. Number one, in the description and in the comment section. Moreover, you have one more thing coming remember which we discussed earlier. Four more videos of listening, reading, writing and speaking, combined questions and samples. You can use them to prepare for the DET. Let's see the three main parts in the step. One, introduction and onboarding. This is not gonna take you more than five minutes because we don't have many steps. Firstly, check your equipment and internet connection. Secondly, remember to keep your photo ID, which is of course government issued with you. You will need that for the test. And finally, check the rules and do's and don'ts of the test. Two, the adaptive test. This is the real deal and it will take you approximately 45 minutes. First of all, have a look at the display. This is how the test looks like. You can see it's not that difficult to understand. Moreover, you will be tested by a series of questions of different types. These questions and how many questions you will be asked in the exam will be there in this video. Three, writing and speaking samples. This will not take you more than 10 minutes. But remember, this is very important because after you have written and spoken these samples, of course, they will be going to the universities wherever you are applying using the DET. There are two types of samples, speaking sample and writing sample. Speaking sample will be anything between one to three minutes and writing will be three to five minutes. Chapter three, equipment required. There are two types of equipment required. First one is called technical and second validation. In technical, we need a computer, functioning microphone, speakers, and a camera. Second, valid ID. You need to have your passport ready for India. Of course, for other countries, they have other documents allowed. But for India, you need to have your passport. Remember that you need the actual one. You cannot have the copy of your passport or a picture of your passport in a phone or in a paper. Not allowed. For other countries, you have the website and the link available in the description where you can check what other documents can be used. 
Note, you must be holding your ID, which is your passport like this, so that the computer can detect it. Chapter four, how to set up your space. The best part about the DET is that you can conduct this test in your own surrounding, but with some guidelines. One, comfort. You can write this test when and where you feel the most comfortable. It can be your own home or others. Two, quiet. Make sure there's no background noise in the room where you are taking the test and there are no distractions and no interference from anyone from outside. Three, privacy. Make sure you also have privacy. In fact, you can use a do not disturb sign on the door. Four, light. Make sure the room in which you are sitting for the test is well lit because the proctor needs to see you. Chapter five, how to purchase the test. To purchase the test, please follow the following steps. One, visit englishtest.dlingo.com. Two, log into your account. Three, navigate to purchase the test. Four, click the button buy now. Five, enter information in an online checkout. Remember that most major credit cards are accepted on the website. And if you have any coupon code, please use them. Remember one more thing that you have just 21 days to write the test after you have purchased it. And only three tests can be purchased within one month. You would not need many. Chapter six, do's and don'ts during the test. There are three main rules. One, the location that you are writing in test is safe and private. Number two, you speak and write naturally. Three, have stable connection. You can use Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot. They are stable in these days. But remember one thing, please check how much data is left in your connection and if needed, use a top up. There are other rules to be followed. You will see each rule on your display right now. One, do not use another person's name or identification to take the test. Two, you must be alone in a quiet, well-lit room. Three, your ears must be visible and uncovered unless you're wearing a religious head covering. Four, you cannot use headphones or earphones. Five, keep your camera and microphone enabled. Six, your face must be visible and unobscured. Seven, no outside materials are allowed, including mobile devices, notes, or textbooks. Eight, no writing utensils or paper, no note taking. Nine, do not use a second monitor. 10, keep your eyes focused on the screen. 11, do not use any predictive text method. And 12, do not navigate away from the test window on your app for any reason. What if these rules are violated? In that case, the DET reserved the right to not certify the test score. Chapter seven, list of question types. The number of questions and the types of questions may vary for each test taker, making it a unique experience. Well, we have to see what are these question types and what frequency do we have in the test? Number one, read and complete, read and select, listen and type and read aloud are the four question types which will be there in your exam for four to six times each write about the photo for three times speak about the photo only one time read then write just one time read then speak one time listen then speak for two times writing sample and speaking sample both for only one time there are two more Interactive reading and interactive listening both have two sets of six question types or sometimes five to six. Chapter eight, scoring. I must say that the scoring of the DET is intricate, but at the same time making sense to the test takers and the trainers. If you wish to see the score, you can visit the official website and also click on the dashboard. You will be able to see the score. The score will be valid only for two years. Remember that. Moreover, the score is divided in two parts, overall and subscores. Overall is anything between 10 to 160 with an increment of five points. There are total four subscores, which are explained in the diagram here. Literacy, the ability to read and write. 
comprehension, the ability to read and listen, production, the ability to write and speak, and finally, conversation, the ability to listen and speak. Each question type will be used to calculate the subscore. For an example, have a look at the display. Read and complete evaluates literacy and comprehension, while write about the photo evaluates literacy and production as shown in the images. You must be thinking, there are four skills, listening, reading, writing and speaking. How are they testing it? Research shows that we never speak any of them separately. For example, if I'm having a conversation, am I just speaking? No, I'm listening and speaking at the same time. And this is how the Duolingo provides you a score. Let's have a look at a scorecard. As you can see on this demo scorecard, we have two types of scores, overall and four subscores, literacy, comprehension, conversation, and production. You can see overall the score is 125 and for each subscore you have a separate scoring structure. Apart from that you will get a picture and the name on the scorecard as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you understood what is the DET. If you have any doubts feel free to post in the comments, we will definitely help you out. Along with that if you need test prep material that is preparation material and need to understand more about the test feel free to visit the Duolingo official website which is also available in the description and in the comment section. Thank you guys and see you soon.